Guys, it is I, Jay and Boopy here with another brand new Let's Play. And so this time, we are going to do a Nintendo 3DS game. And, and it is none other than Kirby Triple Deluxe, released in 2014. So, this uh, is one of those games I, w I, w I was willing to do this year, uh, to celebrate 10 years. So, um... Here we are, with Kirby Triple Deluxe, and now this time, this is this is different to my to the other two 3DS video, Let's Plays I did, which was New Super Mario Bros. 2 and Super Mario 3D Land. Unlike those where I did them on um, uh, Snicker Stream through my actual new 2DS XL, this, I am on Citra. So it's an emulator, yes. And so, uh, we have better quality and all that. Uh, so, well, maybe not good quality, not like actual good quality, but still, enough f for this to be, uh, to run smoothly. So, yeah, here we go. We're going to uh, start the game on a new file. Uh, we have this thing here, which is keychains, and we don't have any keychains, so we find them in stages. So, Let's go to the story mode. We've also got Kirby Fighters and DDD's Drum Dash. We'll look at them uh, later on in the series. Let's start off the story mode then, shall we? Yep, what an intro that was. Okay. And then we come to... Yeah, so apparently we are on a beanstalk. And I guess, uh, I always thought this is a sequel to Kirby's Return to Dreamland or Kirby's Adventure Wii. But some say it's actually a sequel to Kirby's Superstar or Kirby's Fun Pack. But, uh, because, uh, because of Kirby sleeping at the end. But I don't know what's true, but... Well, whatever. Regardless, um, it, it is it is it is a game after Return to Dreamland. So, and we're on a beanstalk. So Kirby and the beanstalk, I guess. Um, 
We're gonna go to level one fine field. Vine fine fields. Okay. And so let's uh, go to stage one. And we start off here uh, nicely in the clouds. We even have this, where it gives us some tutorials. And then we have a start here. And we rush off to another I uh, a floating island. Yeah, there's a lot of floating islands in this because obviously this game is meant to take place in the sky. Uh, rather than the ground too much. Uh, well, I guess we're on the ground now, but I mean... And then we just have some tutorials. Is there anything up there? No. Uh, get rid of that, and then... We, we still have copy abilities, luckily, so... That's a good thing there. Uh, and then we're gonna... Go here. Uh, this is another gimmick. We can go on the other side, uh, which in other Kirby games we didn't have this yet, uh, which is kind of cool. It's kind of similar to uh, Virtual Boy Warrior Land, if you uh, if you've heard about that, and uh, and and when it comes to that mechanic. But yeah, and we got some stars there, and then we got that. Through the door. Cut the grass, which barely do anything. So yeah. And yeah, that star comes back so we can come back. We have this thing. This is a key ring. Uh, what the key rings are, it's basically just the thing for your collections uh, for this game. So yeah, uh, there's quite a lot in this game. Uh, there's also something called rare key rings, which we'll get to later. Uh, is there anything this way? There's like coke there, but oh, alright. Alright. And then let's uh, go this way. We got that. And then we go through the door. And there's something here. What does this do? This is like a a giant beanstalk. What does this do, you may ask? Well, it does this. We turn into Hypernova Kirby, and this is what we do. We suck and suck and suck everything! Even massive stuff, which we can't normally suck. And Kirby just does that, okay. Right here, we have a... this thing. And that is a sunstone. The power of the sun lies within. Find as many as you can and open up pathways to the boss. Yes. Uh, and so, there are diff it, it depends on every level, but... Th there's either, like, two or three, or sometimes four. I think maybe five sometimes, but... It's similar to the energy spheres in, um in Return to Dreamland, uh, only it's to do with the sun and the stones. So, um, and then here, right, we're gonna suck that, then we suck that, and then we gotta, then we gotta suck this to get another sunstone. All of them collected here. They're pretty easy to get in this level, so now let's go this way and suck all the Waddle Dees! Oh, and the uh, environment. You can suck the environment as well. Then we want to suck this ball. So then, it opens a path. There's a rare key ring. Uh, there is one of these in nearly every level, so... And those... Right, we'll explain that in a moment. We have this mole. And what we do is we suck this thing. Then we wait for the mole to come out and then we hit him. Yeah. So what the rare key rings do is that... Um, is that they... Um, it's not only it's more key rings. Oh, 
But also, they also count towards your percentage. Uh, the rare key rings. Not the normal key rings. They don't count. But the rare ones do. Along with the sun stones and all that. So, yeah. This time he's going up here. Oh, God. Come on, please come here. Oh, God. Oh, nice. We can just do it like that. Then he hits that to reveal the exit. And we just grab on that. And then finish the stage. And then we have a goal game. In this game, it's this. Oh! Oh, we got two! We nearly got a one! And we got a lot of food there. And then the key rings are revealed at the end. So we got a shot, though. We got a lovely. And then the rare key ring is a star rod. So that's what the key rings are. They're basically sprites from past Kirby games. Unfortunately, there's only a way to tell how many star stones you've got in a level. There's no way to tell if you've got a um, rare key ring or not. So uh, that's unfortunate, but oh well. This one has three star sun sunstones, so I guess every time I miss a key ring, I'll just find a video and then look at it. So yeah. We go here. Then. Yeah, we're just literally. Go from here. And let's go in here to a cave. And the music may sound familiar. Okay, and then it gives us a tutorial there. This music actually sounds similar to an unused song in Dreamland 2. Uh, oh, and we have new abilities as well. We have the bell ability. In which we can ring bells. And all that. Uh, which is not really good, but okay. And then let's go here with a carrot. And then, let's go down here. And then here, we have use of tilt controls. Which you might think, oh, you're on an emulator, it's going to be impossible. Nope, we have the power. Because I can use mouse controls. By holding right click and then doing that, and it works. And that way we can tilt things, so... At first, I thought it was going to be impossible for me to play this game at the moment, but apparently, no. Alright, before we go that way, I want to see what's this way. And then uh, we got a one up here. I just like that sound effect still. Um, and then let's go this way. Uh, we're going back. Oh whoa! The bells are running around. There's a treasure there, but how do I get that exactly? Oh, I can just destroy that. We get a sunstone from a chest. And it's the first one. Okay, that's good. And then... Uh, got that. Okay, I don't know if we have to be quick or not, but whatever, we've made it. We got a cannon here. Oh, it's one of those tilt controls again. Well, if that's the case, then this will be a cape walk. There we 
god. Oh no! Right, get over here. Right, this way. Right, we got that, and then... There's nothing that side. Just a Gordo. Okay. There may be a bit of freezing in here because of the emulator, but hopefully there shouldn't be too much during this Let's Play because um, this is a better PC. Uh, now... Okay, that, that's totally safe. Right, let's go here. And then there's the last of that. So, what we do here... We need to... Then, just do that. And then, boom! So then... We want to do that. And then... We go up here. And then... And then we got all sunstones. Maybe a bit of slowdown as well, but hopefully not too much. So, here we go. Uh, we can get out safely. And we got a key ring. And then, let's go through the door. Uh, apparently spin, which I don't need to know. Oh, we got a Waddle D, uh, Waddle D, Bandana Waddle D, and he'll give you items. Uh, he'll give you an item. Uh, I believe if you have Street Pass on, he'll give you slightly better items. So, and I think you, not only you can use the touchscreen, I think you can press the Y button, and it also does the same thing. So, let's go and grab the fire ability. Then here we'll have a mini boss. If Mr. Frosty, he's not appeared in a new game since um, the, mainly the 2D ones. Oh, well. Come on, defeat him. There we go. And what does he give us? He gives us the ice ability. And we just finished the stage. Yep, yeah, that's what this stage is. Oh, that was small. We got seven. There is a trick you could do with the home button, but obviously I'm on an emulator, so that's not possible. Uh, that. And what's our rare one? Oh, we didn't even get a rare one. Oh, no. I need to find the rare one. Hold on, hold on. Okay, guys. So apparently, right at the end of the stage... There's the rare key ring. I don't know how I missed that, but okay. Well, I guess we're doing this again. And I think for the normal key rings, I think it's also... I think uh, it's also random what ones you get, so... I don't know if it is, but... I'll have to see. If we'll get different ones. <sighs> what have we got? Yeah, we got... Shot so I think that was the same. A squishy. Pacto. And our rare keyring is Dynablade. Yes. And now on to the next level, which is stage three, and this time we have four stones to find. And you can do that with the ice ability, apparently. Yeah, literally, oh, we're literally speed running this, and then um, now I believe uh, the rare key—it's keychain actually, not keyring. Um, oh, I might need the sword ability actually, and I keep pressing the wrong button. Rare keyrings over there, we can see there. So, how do we get that? 
Well, I want to cut that and then we get that. What's up here? Nothing. We go this way. And then. Here. And then through the door. And we have these rockets, but... Oh, it's one of those where we tilt. And then... Oh, and then we press the button and then do that. Wow, okay. Okay, if that's the case then... No. Alright. I want to shoot the Bronto Bert. And then over here... I'm gonna try and wait for that Waddle D so then I can try and kill him. Come here, Waddle D. I don't think I'm gonna get him. Oh, I did! Wow! Oh my god. I need to find that. Um, I need to find the star so I can get to. Oh, the Waddle D's back. Here's this. Grab that. And then kill the Bronto Burt to get a Sunstone. And it's our first one, okay. Destroyed him. Oh no! Don't lose that! Thank God. Uh, just wait for that. Got another keyring! A keychain, I mean. I keep calling them keyrings. But no, the keychains. Oh! This is. Oh, I see! Right. This might be tricky, but... This might be tricky, but... Okay. It's on that. And then... Stay there. There we go, first try. It's a unique way of setting cannonballs on fire, but... Okay. Of using tilt controls. So, yeah. And I think with fire we can burn the grass as well. I'm not too sure about that though, but we can find out indeed. Oh, we have the hypernova thing again. Uh, so, we're going to scratch the fire entirely. And just use this instead! Because it's even better! Uh, and now, we're gonna sucky, sucky, sucky! On the blocks! And can I suck you? Oh, not from there. I can suck you like this. There we go! You're dead. Oh, I can go through here like it's a pipe Super Mario style. We can do some Mario plagiarism. I'm gonna wait for you. Now suck you up! And luckily you can get the stars like that. Suck, suck, suck! And let's go in here. Oh, I think we need to go up here first because there's a secret. Luckily, the hypernova does not expire, so meaning you'll keep it for the rest of the stage. Right, we want to go for this door first. In which... Oh, hold on. Then, then we suck this. 
that gets destroyed. Is there anything up here? No. It's this with another sunstone. Now we just need one more. Uh, let's go down here. Do, 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 do. Right, so now. Now, obviously, we're blocking. Oh, no, we don't block the door. I thought we would, but no. I guess that's another way. Wow, everything's getting sucked here. Oh, boy. Oh, I see. We're going to time it right. And then press the button. Press the belly button! There we go. I thought that was going to fall, but no, it's not one of those things. Boom! Oh, boy! And then suck, suck, suck. Oh, this is new. And then, whoa, we nearly got into spikes, but let's just go in the door quickly. And, oh, what's here? Oh, I see, we use that, and then, we suck this, it's like sucking the curtains! Oh my god. Reminds me of the box art for Kirby's Adventure, the, NES, the American, North American box art on the NES. <laughs> where he's also sucking some paper like thing, but Okay. Goal game! Oh we might get a one a two or a one, most likely two. It's a two. If I get a one one day I'll be amazed. <laughs> I don't know why I'm yawning like this. Triple star Okay. So the triple star was our rarest one. Ah, oh, that's Bert. Stage four. Which is three more sun stars before the boss. Okay. Oh, we got a key. Uh, let's just uh, use that. Yeah. Like, as a kid, uh, I've always wanted to play this game uh, when I first heard about it because I did have a 3DS at the time, but um, but uh, I couldn't get my hands on it until 2020. Uh, 2020. And I think that's when I finally got it, and then I played it fully in 2021. And we have Hornhead. Wow, he is that is a weird name, but oh, we got him. And what do we get from him? We get the Beetle ability. You've not seen that before, no. No. Yeah, I've always wanted to play this game as a kid, but never got my hands on it. But I did get my hands on its sequel, uh, Planet Robobot, in 2016. Which I thought I, I thought that was great as well, and I fully finished that game in um, also in 2021. Uh, so yeah. And so meaning the only Kirby, the only mainline Kirby games I've never finished uh, before were. Star Allies and uh, Forgotten Land. Uh, that is it. We can keep the key, yes. Let's jump over you. We got another Sunstone. And uh, can you get in? Oh, I forgot the hover ability. It's like this. Wow. But yeah, there were plenty of. Because I really got into Kirby in, like, 2015, I think. And, um, I've always wanted to play most of these games, but I've only got my hands on a couple of them. Uh, I think Return to Dreamland was one of them. Oh, we found the rare key keychain. Uh, Return to Dreamland was one of them, obviously, as Adventure Way, because, uh, I've got European Way. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and, um, I think I had, I, I think I had my hands on the, um... Uh, uh, the Game Boy Advance games as well, uh, Nightmare in Dreamland and Amazing Mirror. Though I've only mainly finished uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. I never really finished uh, uh, Amazing Mirror until 2019. Uh, so, yeah. 
And uh, the fact that. Um, uh, oh god, how am I supposed to. Oh! Oh, I see. Oh god. We've got to guess our way through. Oh, lollipop! Let's get that. We got another sunstone and some cake. Oh, we're gonna tilt, yeah. Okay, and we got the spark ability. Can we also do that trick here? Yeah, we can still do that spark trick. Unfortunately, it. Unlike uh, Return to Dreamland, you can also shake your Wii Remote to get the same effect. Or obviously, if you're on the Switch version, the Joy Cons. But but we don't have shake. Uh, we don't have the shaking. It. We don't have the ability to shake on the 3DS. So meaning we can't do that. Oh what? Oh thank God the key came back. All right, let's go through the fire. Got here. And then we got the last sunstone. So we got all sunstones in um in the first world. So now let's uh, go uh, this way. And we're just killing enemies like that. Which is surprising. And then up we go! Gonna kill the Waddle Dee. And then this brown Waddle Dee. I don't know what those ones are called. And then we're at the end of the stage. Oh, we're gonna get a two or three. Alright, what's our rare keychain going to be? Let me get the old. Okay, we've got attack. Oh! Dark matter! Oh, nice. Okay. And now, for the boss. The sunstones you found have opened the boss stage. By finding 12 sunstones, you've unlocked an extra stage. Oh, I forgot about these extra stages. Um, You know what? We're going to do that as well. There's only one sunstone here, so let's go and find something. And then we'll do the boss level. And we're in the clouds. Um. Okay. Oh. Um. Okay, we go here. Let's get a keychain. No, not there. Now we need to go this way. A Kirby Wirby. Then we go up here. <sighs> but yeah, that's the thing in this game. Uh, to get to bosses, you have to collect a certain amount of uh, sunstones. It's similar in Planet Robobot, but there was no restriction like that in uh, past games at all. I don't think there were. Uh, you just have to finish all levels. That was it. Right. What I clearly know is that we need to somehow uh, go this side. There's a lot of waddle dees over there. Oh, we're here. And then we destroy that. Then we can get the treasure chest and what's in there? 
a rare keychain. Wow. Now let's go this, this, this way. Anyway, there's just some green stars. Anything down here? A normal keychain. Nice. Oh, back here. Oh! Uh, 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 uh. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. There's something up here. How do I get that? How do I, how am I, how did I damage that? Oh, okay. It's just a star. Got some coke. And then here. Back here. Now let's go through this level again to avoid every tree we see here and all the falling balls. Let's defeat these boys. Let's go down here. Oh, we got another keychain. Where is the sunstone though? I don't know. Okay, it's got to be somewhere later in the stage. Oh, we can choose a ability. I assume we're fighting a boss. Alright. Just heal myself a bit. We go to the next stage. Alright. Who is this? Blocky DX. Oh my god. We haven't seen Blocky since um, Dreamland 2, I think. Or no, Dream no Dreamland 3, actually. I forgot he was in that. Oh, Alright, so let's just get him there. Oh, and we're flat. And now we just gotta. Oh no, I'm flat. Yep, this is a very hard fight. I can heal myself though, luckily. Almost defeated him. Oh, what? Because you don't know what he's going to do. Alright, one more hit. For sure. Come on, bring me some stars. No! 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 I missed! Alright, got him. And then we can get the stone ability. And then, go through this way. Should we hear? Yeah, okay, it's there. It's at the end. Alright, we're safe. And now we got the stone ability. And then go to the end of the stage. And then... Oh! Oh! We're going to fall! We're going to get a one! Yes! We got a one. Nice. <sighs> and we got another keychain for that. Oh, we got a bounce seat. Our rare one is power paintbrush, or I think magical paintbrush in the American version, because I'm on the European version, so it says Kirby power paintbrush there and not canvas curse. So, freeze Kirby. Yo yo Kirby! And then Kona. And now onto the boss stage, which is right here.
And then you give me that, and then... Uh, I'm going to use the beetle ability. Oh, there's DDD. Let's go through here for the boss. And we have this guy. We don't know who he is. We're just chasing. And he's going to summon the boss. And he takes away DDD. And now we have flowery woods. Yeah, basically wispy woods, but made of flowers. And uh, he is so easy. Uh, this one, so... So, don't expect this to be a hassle. Except he now does this. And then, what we do here... And also, it's still attacking with these fawns. And then... Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can hit him one more time. Oh, it didn't hit him there. Oh, we're so close. Whoa, we defeated him! Nice. And then he's tilted like that. Poor guy. Oh, free Kirby's. And that is it for World 1. And we do this. And we open a new world. The beanstalk has grown, you can now proceed to the second floating island. Yes, which is lollipop land. But I'm gonna end things off here, guys. Uh, I'm gonna make it so we do one world per video. So, next time on Kirby Triple Deluxe, we will proceed to lollipop land and see if we find the lollipop man. Okay, I had to get some humor there. So, as I say, guys, next time, it's as I jump about. See you guys next time. Bye! Oh, but before I go, though, if we quit the game, uh, exit the menu, you unlock the theatre. You can now watch the game cinematic cutscenes again. And if you get key rings, you have this on the title screen, which you can also tilt. Yeah, I love doing that. So, yeah. So, I'd say in the next video, we will tackle on Lollipop Land. Uh, so, I shall see you guys next time. It's as I, Jane Poop out. See you guys next time. Bye!